Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the season is finally here. We've been waiting for this Friday, one of the biggest Fridays on FIFA 23 of the entire year. We've been waiting on this for a while, and especially now we get to open all of our saved up packs and player picks that we have been stacking up now for the greater part of at least a week. Today is finally the day where you get to open some of those. So we're going to talk about all the craziness today with Team of the Season. What's going to be in packs, what SBCs, objectives, and other content we'll be getting and also foot champ starts later today yeah it does we're gonna take a look at that if you're waking up today like nate why can't i play foot champs we'll look at that in today's video ea have a different schedule new rewards and of course all the craziness that's going on with this market right now after yesterday's unexpected release of the tots season swaps nobody saw that coming but as i'm going to say in this video a little bit later i will gladly lose some coins if it means the content is insane and that is exactly what happened yesterday but there's a lot more to talk about today so if you're excited for tots drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new let's start by talking about the madness of yesterday and look over this tots season swaps we did a video on this yesterday but i want to quickly cover it because i made some progress already and we've seen kind of the market react to this and we've seen how this has dropped on the game and even as we look into the objectives we see how we're going to be able to get more um, I guess of these things done today on this game. There's not an SBC that's dropping today. The Tots Swaps Challenge 1 for XP uh, drops actually tomorrow on the 29th. So there's no new SBC today that we'll be able to do to get XP, which is so interesting that that's going to be the case. But this is what EA dropped yesterday out of nowhere. We did not expect Tots Swaps. We did not expect it to be as a part of the season. Insane rewards, insane packs and players. It's an all around W and it caused a lot of panic yesterday now the one thing i want to show you guys is these are the only objectives that we have right now ea have changed up how we get xp you don't get xp anymore for just playing the game or completing those random objectives it's all about getting the daily objective done and then these community tot season swaps which after this is over we're going to have another one next week called premier league uh, tots season swaps right and of course ea also showed us that there are going to be a couple other ones we'll be able to complete to get more XP, right? It's all about building up the XP instead of the tokens, silver stars, a TOTS cup objective, and an eFigs TOTS player objective are all going to be a part of this community TOTS season swaps kind of like block for this next week, right? Seven days from now, we will see this SBC or this um, objective expire and a new one will be coming into this game. But basically, it takes you through here on the days. Every single day, the April 29th, there's going to be an SBC. On the 30th, an SBC. May 1st and 2nd, there's going to be two different SBCs that are dropped that give us the XP that kind of move us along to get to the highest level possible and then next week we'll do it all over again with new objectives so that's what's different that is what's changing but the the rewards and everything in there is so great that it caused so much panic on the market yesterday and we're going to talk about this market panic i know some of you guys are losing coins hey i'm right there with you right i'm not even selling a lot of the cards that i'm losing coins on right now though because i still firmly believe that the market today is going to have some bounce backs. But yes, it does suck when you bought an Mbappe for 340 to go look at his price on the market and see him down 20 to 30,000 coins. But hey, again, I will gladly lose coins when it is great content and great stuff that EA is putting in this game that is making me lose the coins rather than other ways to lose coins, right? Like if I made a bad trade or whatever, nobody expected, you and me both, none of us expected to see the swaps like that yesterday. And that is, that's the sole reason why the market is down even further is because that content is just nuts. But today flips the switch because everybody starts opening packs because today is team of the season Friday. And with that being said, I want to start talking about tots because these are the players we're expecting today. This is the full tots community team minus one player declan rice is also included if you don't see him in here don't worry he's supposed to be as a part of community tots as well these are predicted stats um we're hoping that the stat boost on these guys are going to be pretty good right we've got the sanchez the, uh, the silva gabriel jesus we've looked over a lot of these leaks guys but it's nice to see it all here in one team ito uh morata ben Sabai, and carter vickers are all new names that were not leaked before that are now leaked this is a really 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 good team especially if they do give some nice boosts and some skill move and some weak foot upgrades we expect a lot there's high expectations for today if ea don't deliver there is going to be some disappointment now speaking of that disappointment 
EA have actually already messed up on this game. And one Air Divisi Tots and one Community Tots card have already been somehow packable. It's for a very short time. It's not happening anymore. But some people were packing these cards yesterday. And look at the state of this Alvaro Morata card. He had an 87 rated card earlier on this year during the World Cup promo that was 87 rated. And he's only getting a plus one for his community team of the season. That does not bode well for the rest of the team today. That does not make me excited for some really high rated cards if EA are going to be giving those types of boosts out for this card that has been in the game since literally, I mean, actually that's like October since this, this card was in the game, maybe November, right? That's not good. I know that Murata is probably going to be on the lower tier of the team of the season release anyway, but especially from my perspective, I was hoping for more. So maybe those stats were wrong, but since that car was already showing in the game, that's a screenshot from FIFA, uh, like that's kind of legit. So we just be careful with what how high our expectations are for these cards today, because we expect big things from EA, but seeing this card already dropped in the game, that does not look that good for an upgrade over his latest special card for a really low rated card, man. EA, please boost these cards up a ton today. Now, what else are we expecting today on this game? Well, we do have a few more leaks for the community tots kind of moments players. And there's a few in here. We've got Arajo, of course. We've got Joelinton. We expect Joelinton to be our objective player today. Um, that is one of the two objective players that is leaked. They usually drop one from the main team on the Friday. We've got Paulinha uh, from Fulham. We've got Matoma, of course. And Alan St. Maximin was also leaked as a player who's going to get a team of the season moments card, I'm not sure what this is like, you know, for. Uh, I'm guessing these moments cards uh, are just cards that EA is kind of adding into the uh, moments category here of this team of the season community to like just bring some hype and put more cards in packs. We believe that half of these guys are going to be packs, but we do not know. So very interesting to see how the Tots moments get worked out on this game today. But as you will see here, Foot Sheriff said that Delofeu is a flashback. And if you rewind things back to last year in FIFA 22, the flashback SBCs during team of the season were always dropped on the promo Friday. It was almost like clockwork, right? We had a flashback SBC on day one of the brand new promo. And then, you know, we went throughout the rest of the promo. And then next Friday for the next league, we had another flashback. Remember Deli Ali, remember Isco. Those are some of the flashback SBCs that we had. Is that going to be the same trend as this year? Potentially. We think Matoma is a potential for a leaked SBC as well. Uh, that was a, a leak that we saw earlier on. Don't know if he is going to be uh, an SBC today or not, but I think Delofeu actually has a decent shot. That's a big question mark today. We're not sure who our SBC player is going to be, but we are expecting our objective player to be Joelington. Now, Eredivisie Tots is also dropping on the game today for my Dutch fans out there, also just fans of usable, linkable cards that have never been super usable before. If you go into the moment section inside of this game, EA is actually telling us who is in Eredivisie Tots. If you take a look at the player names that are kind of attributed to these different uh, moments objectives, Javi Simons, um, you've got Kochu, you've got Mohamed Kudus from Ajax, you've got Geertruda, you've got Bergwijn, you've got uh, Tadic, you've got the Pavlidis, who was the card that was actually showing up in the game yesterday, the striker. You've also got Veerman. Uh, and that's it. That's the eight players that are in Air Divisie Tots, and that matches up with the leaks. So EA have basically just shown us the whole entire Air Divisie Tots team in game already, which is kind of crazy that they have done that. Now you're like, Nate, only eight cards. Is that for real? Well, you saw some of the other players that were posted on Tots moments, uh, Luke De Young, Bijlo, and uh, Hanko, right? So I'm not entirely sure how many Air Divisie Tots cards are going to be in packs, how many of them are going to be moments cards how many of them are going to be um air divisi like actual team of the season cards but those are the players that we're expecting to see in packs today it's kind of crazy how that's like kind of already confirmed uh in the game in that uh moment section but those are all the players that we're expecting in packs today i think ea is going to drop them all we'll have to see if there's any surprises with that if they save any players for later on if they save any players for a mini release don't think that's going to be the case. But with Team of the Season being in packs today, one thing we really have to watch out for is the store. And I can't actually get into the store right now because I have cards, uh, I have player picks, and I have some drafts open. So I can't go into the back way to the store. But the packs in the store today are going to be very, very interesting to watch. There's going to be a, a lot of pack supply from saved up packs 
but also from the lightning rounds, right? And I want to kind of set a precedence for you guys and give you a number to look out for today because from the 100k pack SBC and 100k pack in the store, not an SBC last year, there was a 15% chance of a team of the season player last year for a community team of the season from a 100,000 coin pack, 15% chance not split up by community uh, or air divisee, 15% chance in general. So keep that in mind today, 15% 100k pack. We'll see what the odds are this year in this game but the real supply that's going to hit the market today is going to come in the form of saved up packs you and me both i mean a lot of us i'm i'm basically sure just about everybody on this game unless you haven't play, been playing fifa for a while which may be the case a lot of people are going to come back to fifa today because team of the season brings the hype but so many saved up packs are going to be open today so what i would tell you guys is if there's any cards that you really want to keep an eye on especially on the middle to lower tier some of the most popular cards that are going to be dropped in this game today as tots they are going to get supplied like crazy in the first 15 to 20 to 30 minutes it's going to be one of those promos where we see a ton of supply right away and then after that after people open their packs they realize these cards on the market are getting supplied like crazy they'll want to go out and buy some of them to play weekend league you will most likely see some of those prices not all of them but some of them start really low in the first 30 minutes maybe even less than that but then go up a lot afterwards last year tots fred went from like 520,000 coins 540 all the way to 640k i remember like jury and timber was really low even some of the really cheap cards um like even some of the air to busy cards today like the the gear truda like there's a lot of hype for this guy getting a tots item today he's had this in form you look at this card you think how how insane a tots card for him is going to be it's probably going to be pretty packable he will be dutch linked to kokchu who'll be in the team as well so i think there's a lot of potential for this gear truda today he might be very very hyped kind of like timber was last year watch out for that card and watch out for all the community tots cards and potentially moments if there's any in any of those in packs today uh in the first hour if you have coins there will be really great fluctuations with these guys and then also into saturday as well we're going to be watching these team of the season cards a lot because there's so many people that are going to want to play with team of the season cards today on this game so that's hype part number one watch the tots cards are going to be great to fluctuation trade with and if you want to buy one for a couple games a week in league make sure you look in that first hour now you might be like nate are people actually going to go and buy cards um to play weekend league with like right away because foot champs doesn't actually start until two hours after content yes last year the exact same scenario happened and i believe it will be just about the same you'll probably see prices go up a little bit further once weekend league actually starts but that is the new schedule guys it's confirmed on ea's website confirmed by the timers on the game no foot champs until two hours after the content drop today and then we'll be able to play and the reason behind that is we can actually pack the community and the air divisi tots cards in rewards starting literally today after foot champs opens on this game now rest of the market what's going to happen right we've invested a lot some of you guys have maybe you haven't but a lot of these out of pack specials should start to go back up a little bit in the same sort of demand type situation right like i bought a salah yesterday at 335 in all of the panic and yes his price has gone back up a little bit i bought a rule breakers ronaldo at like 242 i believe he's like 280 right now what is he right now is he 280 i might list this up and take the cash i'm trying to do some more quick flips he's 260 there's two of them i'm gonna list that 280 though um you know there's still potential for quick flips on this market today and today again like i said people open their packs they're gonna get coins they're gonna go out buy cards to their team to try cards out to play in weekend league right once those people open packs it will do good things for this market so watch a market rise on some cards not everywhere but your most popular rare meta that's what is going to go up first but there still will be cards that maybe drop today for a bit if they release a really insane joellington in objectives maybe your bruno gamerash foot birthday actually has a bit of a drop off in price if that is the case and if maybe the bruno or the uh joe ellington in today in objectives looks cracked and is very easy to get this guy might have some panic selling and then he could go up later on that's the sort of stuff you could watch out for today i'm not saying everything is just gonna straight up balloon in price today i'm saying some of car those cards will go up but not everything will it's just the changing of the seasons basically on this market where there's going to be a lot more people buying nobody has been buying over the past week because they're waiting for team of the season that all changes 
today. Now, other SBCs and other content to watch out for today is the refresh of the 90 plus team of the year foot birthday and prime icon pack. Yes. And just like we saw last week on Saturday, we're going to be able to do this SBC two times, I believe today, which is crazy for the demand of fodder. And as we take a look at fodder, let's kind of make sense about what's going to happen with this stuff today. If you still have 83s, 84s, 85s, I would look to sell those because the only demand they're going to have is before 6 p.m. content today. Maybe some people stacking some last minute packs, but after content today, these cards are going to get uh, hit pretty bad in price. There's going to be so much supply, especially on the lower tier. 83s are probably going to go back to a thousand coins or below. 84s are going to be like 3,000 coins. 85s are going to be like nine or 8K. They're going to go really, really low because they're going to get supplied so much from all the tradable packs. But on the other side of things, there's going to be a lot of supply for the high rated fodder, but not as much for, as, you know, of course, it's harder to pack an 88 than an 83. There will be supply for high rated fodder, but there will also be a lot of demand as people open their packs. Maybe they don't like the SBC that is dropped. Maybe they want to go out and do that 90 plus team of the year foot birthday or prime icon SBC. And again, guys, these prices that we have right now on these cards, 56, 57 K for 91s earlier yesterday. That was a really low point after marquee matchups. That was a great investment opportunity there. 88s and above, I think are good buys. If you can get them at 25 K for the 88s, they're back up a little bit. Try to get on some bids today or maybe snipe during all the supply. I'm not saying go crazy because there's going to be a lot of supply again today. It's all about the supply. There's going to be so many packs opened. But I do believe there will be a lot of people going and completing this Icon SBC. So like we talked about a bit in yesterday's video, watch the higher rated fodder. I think it could go up today after content. But uh, of course, that's because this SBC will be refreshing. So keep a very, very close eye on that. And of course, make sure today before content, if you do want to get any of these other SBCs done, I'd like to get another 85 plus player pick if I have the fodder in the club to do it. Or maybe an 83 plus upgrade. I could stack a few more of those. If fodder prices get really low right before content today, maybe you go out and you stack a couple last few packs that you might be able to save up to give yourself a better chance at packing some team of the season cards today now one thing last thing i want to talk about is we didn't look at it in the video yesterday because it wasn't up updated actually but now it is the rewards inside of foot champs are updated and i want to talk about this really quickly because actually for a guy like me i'm usually getting 11 wins i know there's an extra objective this weekend to get some extra packs I think I'm going to be trying to press my hardest and trying my best to get to 14 wins because rank four, you get two player picks for community tots, one of three, three, one of three, 84 pluses, but you also get the community tots, three player pack untradeable. And then of course, as you go above that rank three, two, and one, the community tots player pack is tradable, right? You see right there, it does not say untradable. So that's kind of the rewards designation there. You got to get rank three or above to get a tradable tots pack, which is definitely not easy. Guys, it's going to be the sweatiest weekend league of the year. But the best part is this weekend league does not end until Wednesday, right? You have a lot of time Wednesday morning in the early morning hours, usually on Monday when weekend begins, it's a 48 hour extension. So it starts late today, but it also goes on longer. So it's going to be a weekend full of sweat. Get your best tactics ready and uh, prepare to have some fun because everybody's going to be going all out for the best possible rewards that they can get. And if you're grinding objectives like, Nate, how can I progress through this? Playing the 15 games, winning the eight games, right? Those are all things you'll be able to get XP from to move yourself on in the season progress today. Like EA said, and like we said actually in yesterday's video, talking about this community season swaps, EA is really going to control how we get XP over this next 40 day period because that's how they're going to control how fast we work through the season, right? That's how they're going to be able to slow us down because we can't get as much XP uh, from just playing the game right now. You're not getting XP for doing that. You're only getting the XP from the objectives and from the rewards in the objectives as well. So that's kind of the different slash tough part about all of this. Um, that is a change as a swaps program compared to a normal swaps program. But the one that we have right now is just different and it's not that bad. It's just different right with the absolutely insane reward so if you bought players for your team um i do expect prices to go back up tonight if you want to get some coins i took a couple losses yesterday just because 
I wanted to get some coins so that I could trade with some Tots cards today in the early part of their time being in packs just because it's going to be an insane, insane time to trade today. One thing I'd also say is watch out for like team of the weeks, so like maybe like especially Kamavinga um, and just watch out on the market today that is the Eredivisie links, maybe the Dutch links and stuff like that. That's where I'd be maybe taking a little bit of extra look today. Team of the Weeks are not going to get supplied as much because they're not in Team of the Week packs. But like that Kamavinga card with the Real Madrid links, we have a Rodrigo coming out today. There's going to be a lot of hype for that guy right there. And uh, a, a lot of people are going to want to try that card out. So watch your Real Madrid links today. I think this Benzema was just really, really low. That could be a card that could be moving a lot. And he's also really rare. So like, wow, 880K for this card when he was like a million yesterday is pretty crazy. But that's kind of how the market is right now. I know we're losing a lot of coins, but guys, the switch flips today. Packs are open. Coins hit this market. I wouldn't be surprised if this live transfer number right here goes to like 12. It's already been 12. I wouldn't be surprised if we see like 13, maybe 14, maybe even 15 million live transfers. It's going to be a crazy crazy day on FIFA today. So best of luck if you're opening packs. I'm going to open about 50% of my packs. Other ones I'm going to save for the league specific tots and probably some of the Premier League team this season that's coming next week as well. But enjoy opening packs today. Have a blast. We'll be live streaming it all on Twitch. Link down below in the description. It's going to be an amazing day on FIFA today. Happy Tots Friday, boys. If you liked the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the stream today. It's been Nate for the count and catch you guys there. Peace.